Hello everyone, welcome back to another set of fuck with your head, I mean sanitarium. Um, before I continue where I, where we left off, um, I want to say there's something that has convinced me to continue on with this and do a full let's play of this game. Number one, I have looked across YouTube. I have not found a completed let's play of this. I've seen video walkthrough, but those don't show you all of the craziness of talking to the uh, people and looking around you and whatnot. They just go through the storyline, which is nice. I mean, it helps you with puzzles, but the point of adventure games like this is the story, the ca characters and whatnot. Secondly, Add Wayfair. Your um, 100 video subscriber, oddly enough, you actually posted that up when I was feeling kind of crappy about myself. And that actually, your little, you know, thing to everybody and myself, of course, what you said about me and everybody else, it was inspiring. It, it helped me a little bit. So thank you. Even though I watched that and, you know, it felt like you were stroking my ego. And no, that is not a metaphor for anything. Anyways. Uh, Save load game. Continue where we left off, which, let's see, we destroyed Mother, and we got out of that crazy tower that was gonna go boom shaka like a boom shaka like a boom shaka like a boom shaka like Sorry. Boom. And we are now apparently in a courtyard. And please ignore those beeps in the background, that's uh, steam. And uh, apparently this guy is wearing a very colorful vest and bare feet. Is he wearing big bare feet slippers? Uh, apparently. Excuse me, what's your name? Are you serious, man? I'm the king. Does he, does he mean what I think he means? King of what? King of rock and roll, man. I'm Elvis. Oh my the god. The Elvis? But I thought you were, uh, well, you know, dead. No, that was all a hoax, man. The pressure was getting to me. I needed a break. We have found Elvis. He was not abducted by aliens or dead. He just had to get away. It makes sense. <laughs> of course, the alien thing was a close second. In my opinion. Anyways. Break from what? All your fame? Of course. Fame, drugs, food, you name it. I need a time to relax, sober up, slim down. Yeah, know what I mean? Which apparently you did. Yes. Well, it looks like you've shed a few pounds since that Hawaiian concert. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Where is that awful music coming from? Yeah, I wish I knew, bad. man. That stuff is for the birds. Do you know anything about the other patients? They ain't patients. These are my fans, man. Let me tell you, these are the best fans in the world. Captain, please forgive me if I'm drinking or eating. I'm kind of hungry. And, you know, I need my soda at the moment. And, wait a minute. It nice tutu, old man. That old guy is wearing a tutu. And, wait a minute. I... Okay, I think I might be seeing shit. But did that? I swear to God that goggle had moved a moment ago. Okay, yeah, I'm going crazy. Excuse me, it's a what's your name? Skippy! <laughs> oh, Skippy. Love that. Where is that awful music coming from? I don't know, Q-Tip. Q-Tip? Yeah. Your big <laughs> cotton head looks like it belongs in a big ear. Uh, <laughs> crazy old man. Do you know anything about the other patients? Do you know anything about the other patients? Very funny, old man. Very funny, old man. <laughs> yeah, he's a crazy old man. Ugh, smells down there. Yeah, I bet. 
That guy looks like he's gonna eat me. <laughs> oh, okay. Excuse me, what's your name? Dan Dombrowski, don't forget it. Eh, eh. Where am I? The courtyard. Oh, well, I, 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 I'm guessing he was, he's Italian or was, you know, in the mob or something before this. I'm not crazy, I shouldn't be here. Shut up before I pound you one. Eh, eh, eh. Jesus. Where is that awful music coming from? Doc's doing some kind of test in the observation room. Oh? What kind of test? How should I know, maggot? Jeez. I know this will sound nuts, but I was just in this weird little town where a, a huge alien plant killed all the adults, but not the kids. Ah, yeah. uh, shut up! Jesus. <laughs> guy, I think that guy may have been uh, pumping a few too many boys. You should, uh, go hang out with, uh, Chris Redbeard. I think you'd, uh, you know, fit in very well with him. I wonder what's on his mind. Excuse me, what's your name? John Whitefoot, Max. Don't you remember? No, I'm sorry. I hear the very soothing voice. Much better than the other asshole. Where am I? The asylum, of course. In the courtyard. We had to evacuate the tower cells because of the explosion. Right, so it did go... Boom. What explosion? The generator. It was supposed to be repaired this week. I guess they were a little too late. Oh, what about the all the fire? patients up there? I'm afraid you were the only one who survived, my friend. But we still don't know how the hell we got out of there! All we know is we, that some angel statue came to life, enveloped us in wings, and somehow we were in some fucked up little town that was reminiscent of Children of the Corn or something. I'm the only survivor? My god! How many people died up there? Probably a lot. I'd say 15 or so. Ooh. The fire spread quickly after the second explosion. Ooh, that's nice. Then there was no way to reach them in time, but how did you manage to escape? If I told you, you'd think I'm really insane. Yeah, Try me. No I'd like idea. to know how you survived this disaster. I know this will sound nuts, but... I was just in this weird little town where a, a huge alien plant killed all the adults, yeah, you but know, not the kids. Kind of nuts. I see. Ah, uh, you must think I'm as loony as the others. No, that's not true. I have my own theory on what could have happened to you. Okay, I'm gonna ask you what this theory is. But if you say anything, anything close to that Freudian bullshit about me wanting to have sex with my mother, I would fucking shove something up your ass that would not be very pleasant. What's your theory? Oh God. Well, I think that maybe your mind couldn't handle the thought of you abandoning those who needed help, so you constructed a world to hide in, inside your mind, until it was safe to come back. The town represented the tower, the children were the patients, and the missing adults represented the doctors and other authority figures who weren't around to help. Huh, maybe you're mm. right. Okay. But it all seemed so real. Your mind is capable yeah, of wondrous safe, things, okay. Max. In your head, it was real. I'm not crazy. I shouldn't be here. That's a familiar story around here, my friend. Yeah, I'm sure. Where is that awful music coming from? Dr. Morgan is testing a few theories on how music affects the patients. He's conducting his research in the observation room. Okay. That was informative. Quite a big fellow. Uh, yeah. Uh, pretty much all the orderlies are... Excuse me, what's your name? Jeez, Max. It's the same as it was yesterday and the day before that. I'm Bruce. Bruce Chambers, remember? Man, that wreck must have really rattled your brain. A car wreck? Yeah. Taking that nurse's car for a joyride wasn't the brightest thing you've ever what? done. I mean, now your face is all messed up and you can't remember okay. squat. Where am I? You've Where? been here before, don't you remember? No, no. this place isn't familiar at all. Here. It's the courtyard, Max. You like it here. If you say so. I'm not crazy. I shouldn't be... Now just calm down, Max. Calm down. But I'm not crazy. Sure you're not, Max, sure. Uh, uh, 
music. He's flying in the test. Exactly Where is that? Thing. Well, the observation room. Dr. Morgan said that he was doing some auditory exper- Oh. I know this will sound- Yeah, yeah, yeah? You're right. You- You mean you believe me? What? No, I mean it sounds nuts. Oh, Just take your pill, Max, and you'll feel better. Fuck your pears! I just hide him under my tongue and then spit him out later. That's what other smart crazy people do. Like, oh, I can't think of any off the bat, but there's probably a not a friendly-looking guy at all. Like movie, the white knight. 